Hey math students, in this video we're going to have a little introduction to inequalities. We're going to talk about what they are, what they mean, how to read them, and uh, how to view them as mathematical statements, okay? So first let's start with the definition. What do we mean uh, when, we, when we say the word inequalities? Well, we have a definition here. These are the symbols. These are what inequalities look like here. The word inequality, the root word in inequalities is equal or equality, right? But when you put this prefix of in on the front, it means not. So when we say the word inequality, what we mean is uh, that we're using symbols that we use to build statements where the two sides of the statement are not necessarily equal to each other. So inequality means not necessarily equal to each other, okay? As opposed to equation or equality, where the two sides of the statement are equal to each other, inequality means that they're not necessarily equal to each other. And these symbols are the symbols that allow us to build those statements that are not necessarily equal to each other. So, so let's look at a few examples of how to read these things, okay? The way that my math teacher taught me many years ago about how to remember how to read these things is uh, she told me about that um, to visualize the inequality as an alligator, right? And the alligator opens his mouth towards the bigger meal. So it's telling you which side of the statement is bigger. So for example, if you look at this first uh, statement that we have here, the alligator is opening its mouth towards the right side. So what it's telling us, this inequality is telling us is that this side is bigger. So this one is bigger. So if that side is bigger than the way that we, that means that this side is less. So the way we can read it is four is less than five. That's if you read it from left to right. You can also read the statement from right to left. So you can also say that five is bigger than four, or in other words, five is greater than four, okay? And this also happens to be a true statement. Four is less than five. Five is greater than four, so this is true. Okay? Remember that mathematical statements are either true or false. Mathemat ma mathematical expressions just have values, but these are all statements, right? We're comparing two sides. We're comparing two expressions. So let's look at the second one. It says nine is not equal to nine. So this symbol right here, equal sign with a slash through it, means not equal to. So this says nine is not equal to nine, and uh, that's a false statement. So false, okay? The next statement says six is greater than or equal to six. So again, alligator mouths opening up towards the left-hand side. So the inequality is telling us that the left-hand side is bigger Right? So the way we read it is 6 is greater than or equal to 6. Now that's a true statement, and the reason why that, that, that is a true statement is because of the or equal to part. So there are two ways to make this statement true. Either 6 can be greater than 6, which is not true, or, or 6 can be equal to 6. If either of those are true, then the statement is true. So this part in the middle that says greater than or equal to, the word or is really important there. It means that there's two ways to make the statement true. Six is greater than six? Nope. Six is equal to six? Yep. So if six, six is greater than or equal to six is a true statement. So we say this is true. Last one, negative one. So first look at the inequality and decide, okay, which side is bigger? Inequality is telling us that this side is bigger. The left is bigger. So the way we read it is negative one is greater than or equal to three. Well, that's not true. Negative one is not greater than three and negative one is not equal to three. So this is a false statement. Okay, so uh, now that we have an idea of how to read these statements, now we can use this skill uh, to build from there. We can start talking about how to solve these statements. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody.